Libra. Welcome to Tolda's Love Tarot with Megan, the Gemini Meg. I'm visiting the campground a little bit. Uh, even though it's cold and wintry outside here in Massachusetts, I got a little nice fire going, some background music, staying warm. <laughs> I'm a wicked nerd like this, Libra. Yes, I am like this all the time. Um, Libra, I have a few messages for you, my fellow air sign, before I dive into your reading. Um, something that was specific with the bed. So someone is either missing, having a person in their bed, maybe someone specifically, but I was, I was getting the feeling of just like loneliness of like wanting to cuddle, missing having someone to cuddle with, or the complete opposite. Someone is in a relationship sleeping in a bed with someone and wishes they had their own bed for a while like wishes they had some space um i was thinking about a libra who um is thinking thinking long term and i feel like that means a couple things it could mean commitment but it could be commitment to a long-term job a long-term relationship a long-term living situation so like looking for a place to live together maybe um and also there's a libra who's um what's interesting is it was a libra who's concerned that they're they've lost too much weight, that they're too skinny, um, who wants to put on weight. And then at the opposite, there's must be a Libra out there who feels like they've put on too much weight and they need to take some weight off. Yes. But this is a Libra who does, there's a Libra who's concerned about their weight. And then I started thinking like just now, what if it's W A I T the weight The weight the song by uh, the band is going through my head now. All right, Libra, let's go. Hope everyone's doing well, healthy, taking your vitamins, drinking your water, eating some sort of vegetable. <laughs> it's like it chucked out. King of Pentacles reversed at the bottom. This was really fuzzy in the um, Capricorn reading, so I hope that's just gonna work itself out. Okay, we got <clears throat> Page of Swords, Air Energy, High Priestess, Pisces Energy, and Queen of Cups, that's Water Energy. I just turned that up to number nine, which is the hermit. And all three of these women look very singular to me. And I, I feel this single vibe again, like waiting for the right offer. Um, I see a Libra here who has options and doesn't know who to choose. I'm here and I got wifey. I got <laughs> like a different name for each one, like a wifey, best girlfriend, <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> best friend who's a girl <laughs> and Libra either you or they communicate like and there's like care here but there's no um it's like co it's committed but there's no commitment
you or uh, someone around you is very intuitive, um, they may read cards like this. Um, they're like very intuitive, psychic shit. <laughs> like psychic shit. And it's either you, Libra, or them, a gift that you've had that you may not have always known you had or understood that you had. Like, it's like you've had this gift, but you thought it was something else. Like, oh, I don't know how to compare. I don't know. I'm like thinking like someone who determines that when they have their hand over someone and they feel something hot, it's because they're actually healing that person with like Reiki energy or something. But when they were a kid, they would just notice like, oh, I feel hot over this person and I feel hot over that person, but I don't feel hot over this person. This is like the weirdest analogy, but this is just what came to my head. But this is someone who's like, <clears throat> either you Libra or them, done your research online specifically or have been reading and researching things online because you feel you too have this gift or you have this sense of knowing that it could be there and you want to explore this kind of like psychic side to you because this the high priestess is a very intuitive psychic woman the Queen of Cups is a very psychic, intuitive woman. Together, they form the ultimate <laughs> psychic woman. Or person. Or I just heard, like, it could be two people together. This is scary. This is pretty interesting. I just got like a coven vibe. Like, uh, coven, like a witch coven. Yes. Wicca, um, because there's males in it as well, or there's a male Wiccan. That's what he's been researching. Um, I'm seeing Capricorn right now, so you could have Capricorn in your chart or you're specifically trying to and are like part of something that is for the devil, like Satan. Or this is what at least you think you're researching and looking into and... You have some protection as you research this, but I don't see a whole lot of protection. Like I see that one eye right there on her and I see kind of like a helmet and a little bit of a veil and we got an, a sword here, but there's no like heavy armor here. Someone has, someone dove into this after something happened with them and their, I want to say when they were younger, their childhood, their father could have left or their a father figure passed away or just an earth sign passed away. A Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. It was very heartbreaking. I'm specifically seeing like passed away death though. something that like kind of shattered someone's world you could be dealing with a Scorpio because that's the death card um <clears throat> but someone maybe began researching online because this is an online card began researching online when they were younger and in doing so they've actually learned a great deal and kind of evolved into this high priestess because those girls do look similar they've just she's grown up she's more matured and i maybe okay maybe there's another there's a high priestess who has all who has met a group of other women who are 
like like-minded and intuitive and into spirituality or libra this is like i don't know why i see like you and one other person or like it's a group of people this is not where i thought this was going it rarely ever does this is totally something with uh studying um I don't know if if it's dark stuff but my head is going to it's like dark dark web stuff maybe that's where it is that's where you find this information on the dark web if I have to pay for stuff like this So these are for Libra placements. If you have Libra in your chart and you're not sure about that, go check out the Minutes with Meg video where I describe where you could go find out your birth chart and what other um, signs you could be watching, essentially. Okay, Knight of Wands at the bottom. Temperance reversed, that's Sagittarius energy. Ten of Wands upright. Knight of Pentacles reversed. It's like really noisy out here in my neighborhood by the camp campground. I see a lot of research time and energy spent into researching whatever this is that not everyone knows that Libra is into or Libra is capable of or Libra would even entertain this definitely something done at dark I'm also seeing like creating potions putting them in vials someone might actually sell like blessed vials of I don't even know but mixtures that they've with their practice and their beliefs they've put together these vials I was gonna say if there's a swords here it would I would even be like saying spells but Just keep going I don't know about this Libra Oops. so something's going forward this is cancer energy going forward with something or traveling getting away with something I don't want to say taking something, but because it doesn't seem like taking, but then Ten of Cups Reverse just came out and I just saw that one too. had me readings with Libra about like sexuality I feel like someone may have part of their sexuality hidden but is considering like coming forward with it or coming out with it maybe that they're actually interested I'm seeing specifically in women Yeah, 
yeah. Whew. So I said, yeah, it changed. This is not a straightforward uh, reading for me, Libra. But I'm, my teeth are dug in. I am still sticking with this. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, someone, someone is bisexual or has known they are bisexual and um, has either been all is already out or is like considering coming out. <clears throat> I'm hearing someone's like, I'm so attracted to the female form, but they have these like bromances and they just love their bros. Very defensive and guarding this. Like this is a secret for someone. Secret that they think if it came out it would kill people it would kill people and their ability to have a happy future that's what i feel someone thinks that this would like so this per so this person libra either you or who you're dealing with has already explored this side of their sexuality or or really wants to and is deathly afraid, deathly afraid that if it came out, they would lose all their friends, that people wouldn't respect them anymore, that people wouldn't talk to them anymore. Um, so it's like a secret thing that's maybe done in nightclubs or at nightclubs on the low, but it's very, very secret and it's kept um, I'm hearing someone likes blowjobs from guys, like even maybe specifically guys who are dressed like women. Maybe that's what this, this card was saying, like, likes women, like really likes women, but really likes blowjobs. <laughs> this just took us. I'll have to rate rate this NC seventeen. Someone is willing to pay for it too, and it's like secret. It's like their secret. I I I'm with the I'm I'm talking to a Libra who like is this wild sexual cavernous person at night. And it like keeps them balanced, but during the day, I feel like we've gotten this reading before too, Libra. You are straight laced. You are prim and proper. You are respectful. You are looked up to, you are admired. You give off a wise vibe. You may be single. You may even come off as like a heartbreaker, Libra. I, like not committed, don't want to stay committed. Always looking on for the next thing. But what's not being communicated? Wow, this is a lot of emotion and communications right here. Queen of Swords. Knight of Swords reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, King of Swords. I'm just seeing a Libra who's in touch with his fem his feminine side or her masculine side and maybe some sort of like cross-dressing a little bit or enjoying cross-dressers. Um, again, nobody can know this. Oh, no, no, this Libra does not want this to come out because they think they'd never hear the end of it from people. Um, so this is like something kept on the sly by a Libra. Um, I 
Yep. Kept on the side from a Libra who has this nighttime life and then the daytime life. There's like two sides. And this Libra, again, has like a female and a life with a female and or wants this. A female and a life with a female and then their own life with males. It, and that's the balance. Because you're a balance. <laughs> what the hell is that called? Yeah, a balance, right? Man and woman. I've been getting that bisexual vibe from from you guys. <laughs> from you guys in a, for a while. Go, Libra. Love yourself. Love yourself however you want to love yourself. You want to love yourself quietly? Love yourself quietly. You want to go outside and love yourself loudly? Love yourself loudly. I see a Libra who is like taking down... Taking down insecurities and like their defenses and guards around them. Again, something about like a man dressed as a woman. So maybe there's someone who likes um, <clears throat> to dress like, is a man who likes to dress as a woman or I'm even seeing like, enjoys going to like those drag shows where they're like putting on performances and stuff. Like I know around me, you could see Britney Spears <laughs> and it was all different queens, but I'm also, and this is the inappropriate, not safe for work part. I'm seeing a Libra who, who enjoys oral sex from um, a transgender, a transsexual person or some, I, I hate to sound ignorant and I don't want to sound disrespectful so I just try to say things the best way I can and I understand I don't know the right vernacular or vocabulary so please don't hold it against me but um someone who loves oral sex and loves oral sex from men or women as long as it looks like a woman Oh, Libra, if this resonates, um, you do yourself. You do the damn thing. You do what makes you happy. And like I said, love yourself quietly. Love yourself loudly. How the hell do you want to love yourself? Just love yourself, most importantly. And I... I just get the feeling that this is a Libra who may not have always loved themselves and loved parts of themselves, but is learning to or is in the process of self-care, healing, loving themselves more importantly. And in doing so, like, gosh, what is that from? It's like a CGI movie. It's like, instead of something being built, it's like coming back up. And the walls that you had built around you are slowly being raised up every time you give to yourself and you're more honest with yourself and what you want and what makes you tick. Libra. Air signs, gang, gang. Air signs have been having uh, some great energy. I, I chalk it up to uh, Aquarius season, fellow air signs. So I will catch you on the flip, Libra. Please let me know if this resonates. Tell your friends, tell your family. Check out your birth chart so you can see um, if any of the readings resonate with you. Because... There's been a heavy uh, three-person dynamic in readings lately. So 
for instance, if you have Aquarius in your chart or like Virgo yesterday had three's company as the title for their reading. So it's worth checking out to see what you have in your chart to see if there's other readings here who could have a, that could have a message for you. So Libra, do the damn thing. I love you. See you next time.